Take a look at this short video and see if you can tell what the make and model of this vehicle is. At the end of the video, I'll tell you what it is. Hey, this is Gallagher. Today we're taking a look at a 79 Mazda GLC. 1979 Mazda GLC, short for great little car. How nifty is that? Also known as the Mazda Familia. It was in production between 1963 and 2003, and it was a healthy and interesting 40-year run. The Familia was known by multiple names, as any good platform was at the time, names such as the Protégé, the Mazda 323, and the Allegro. The first Familia was even designed by Giorgetto Gigiaro, the famous Italian designer responsible for iconic models such as the Maserati Ghibli, the Mark I Volkswagen Golf, the 1970 AMC AMX, and even the DeLorean. The Familia was such a versatile platform that it even took on many different forms. You could buy a Familia Coupe, a sedan, wagon, and even a pickup truck. In 1968, Mazda even threw its rotary engine under some Familia hoods. Mazda also lent the Familia to other brands such as Ford, Nissan, and even Kia. The GLC you see here is a delightful little three-door subcompact that still puts the power to the rear. It was also known to most of the world as the Mazda 323. But for once, the U.S. got the coolest version by being named Great Little Car. I'd drive one just for that alone. This generation ran for only three years, 1977 to 1980, but still managed to pump out nearly a million units worldwide in that time. For the 1979 model year, the GLC got a huge power bump. Gone was the sluggish 1,272cc, 52-horsepower engine. Here was the fire-breathing 1,415cc engine, producing 65 horsepower. In the end, the 1979 Mazda Great Little Car was a simple, economical machine that wasn't anything too special, but was a great enough little car to give the Toyota and Datsun salesmen something to sweat about. Why have good when you can have great? Mazda GLC. It's a great little car. I have not seen one of these before. Interesting. Little five or four or five seater Econo box hatchback. Sterling edition, look at that. Wouldn't that be cool if that badge had uh, like s silver plating or something? Mazda GLC with a Camel Joe very rusted, <laughs> rusted into it. Not a whole lot of style with these, I gotta admit. There's not much going on here. Cool little Mazda hubcaps. And of course plaid. Of course plaid, as was the time. The only option these backseat passengers had was Aside from the little tilt open rear windows was an ashtray, of course. Seats seen better days. Well, frankly, the whole damn car has. Speaking of which, ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Put your foot down on that. It's actually, that would not be too difficult to get into. That's plenty of space there. Ah, manual transmission. It's got the aftermarket, or at least, not a factory option, AC, Smitty, Passport, wonder if this thing had a choke, <laughs> manual choke. Uh, yeah, I gotta take that, I'm, I'm taking that Sterling Edition badge, 100%. Let's go take a look at the driver's seat, then the engine bay, uh, then the engine bay, and that'll be it for us. Oh yeah, class and sophistication. That's what that front end doesn't say. Basic door panels with probably crank windows. Yeah, that just does not look super appetizing to sit in, unfortunately. I cannot tell how many miles are on this thing. Ashtray, wasn't a smoker's car, how about that? All right, let's see. Oh, electric trunk pop, that's interesting. What do we got here? Hmm. Oh. So I just did something stupid. Same thing this stupid person did. We're both stupid. The hood on this lifts forward. Kind of nifty little device there. Oh, with a, ugh. I believe if you push it far enough, it would lock into place there, but it doesn't want to. So I'm not gonna keep trying, although the hood's already screwed up. 
<sighs> well, at least they drain the fluid this time. This whole thing looks simple as pie to work on, especially since it's four wheel drive and, or not four wheel drive, four cylinders with rear wheel drive. Well, thanks for watching this one. On to the next one. Get a delightful 89 Volvo 240 wagon. And she's kind of a beaut. Had good tires, unfortunately it had a tow ticket. So somebody abandoned this old girl somewhere. I wouldn't have done that to you, sweetie. I would have absolutely made sure.